what is chemical bonding well to learn the concept of chemical bonding consider daily life examples like salt common sugar like glucose and water we know that salt is made from two atoms like sodium and chlorine glucose is made from three atoms like carbon hydrogen and oxygen while water is made from two atoms like hydrogen and oxygen now let me ask you what are holding sodium and chlorine to form salt what are holding carbon hydrogen and oxygen to form glucose and what are holding hydrogen and oxygen to form water well the answer is simple attractive force hold sodium and chlorine to form salt attractive force hold carbon hydrogen and oxygen to form glucose attractive force hold hydrogen and oxygen to form water now listen carefully in chemistry the attraction force between atoms ions and molecules to form a chemical compound is called chemical bond let me repeat it the attraction force between atoms ions and molecules to form a chemical compound is called chemical bond therefore we say that chemical bond exist between sodium and chlorine to form salt chemical bond exist between carbon hydrogen and oxygen to form glucose chemical bond exist between hydrogen and oxygen to form water thus we say that it is the chemical bond that is making everything around us in simple words we say that chemical bond is just like cement that holds two bricks together therefore note it down that chemical bond is the attraction force between atoms ions or molecules now let me teach you what is the importance of chemical bonding well everything in the universe is formed by the chemical bond for example the food we eat is made by the chemical bond the plants we see around us are made by the chemical bonds the animal we see are made by the chemical bonds all the material we use in our daily life like iron plastic etc are made by the chemical bond thus remember that it is the chemical bonding between atoms that form everything in the universe now you should also learn that why atoms form chemical bonding well atoms form chemical bonding in order to lower its energy and get stability now let me ask you how can we measure the stability of an atom there are two simple rule the duplet rule and the octet rule which measure the stability of an atom according to duplet rule if two electrons are present in the last shell of hydrogen and helium then they both are considered stable atoms according to octet rule if eight electrons are present in the last shell then atoms are considered stable atom for example consider sodium and chlorine we can see that in the last shell of sodium atom there is only one electron while in the last shell of chlorine atom there are seven electrons now sodium will lose this one electron and chlorine will gain this one electron so we can see that there are eight electrons present in the sodium atom and there are also eight electrons present in the chlorine atom so the octet rule of sodium is completed and the octet rule of chlorine is also completed thus by losing and gaining electrons they both form a chemical bond here let me teach you one bonus point in order to lose and gain electron suitable condition should be provided to an atom otherwise atom will neither gain nor lose an electron thus remember that atoms form chemical bond in order to get stability now let me teach you the types of chemical bonding mainly there are three types of chemical bonding like ionic bonding covalent bonding and metallic bonding ionic bonding exist between metals and non metals for example like table salt sodium chloride while covalent bond exist between non metals and non metals like water h2o and metallic bonding exist between metals like gold iron etc 
To learn more about these types of chemical bonding, watch our lectures and their links are given in the description. Finally, let me teach you one bonus question. Which is the strongest chemical bond? Well, in general, covalent bond is considered to be the strongest chemical bond. For example, consider covalent compounds like diamond and ionic compound like sodium chloride. We know that the melting point of diamond is 4027 degree centigrade while the melting point of table salt is 801 degree centigrade. We can see that the melting point of diamond is very very high while the melting point of ionic compounds comparatively is very low. So in terms of melting points and boiling points, we say that covalent bond is considered to be the strongest chemical bond. So note it down this important question. To learn more about chemical bonding, watch our lectures and their links are given in the description.